Unlock the secret to skyrocketing your Amazon merch sales. Discover how smart keyword research can reveal hidden niches, setting your products apart from a crowded marketplace. Start capitalizing on overlooked opportunities today and see your sales soar. I'm gonna break down a few different strategies to help you with your keyword research. Give this video a thumbs up and let's get into the content. I'm gonna show you a free way to do keyword research and then I'm gonna show you a paid way. There are a ton of different ways to do research. Keep that in mind. There is not just one way to do it. You can do research on social media. You can do it on Amazon. You can do it on Etsy. You can the Redbubble. You can do it on Google. You can go walking in the store, right? Like go to Walmart, go to Target, or go wherever you go to purchase clothes and kind of get inspiration by doing it that way. Walking at the mall, you know. So there's not one size fits all, but you know when it comes to showing people like different keyword research strategies or applying keyword research strategies to myself to find different niche ideas or what people are searching for on the internet. I, I enjoy that. It's one of my favorite things to do. So keep in mind, this is very important that you understand this. What are people searching to find, you know, like let's say your product, like how are people going to search to find your product? That's very, very important. A lot of people I see overlook this and this is like how is someone going to go into the search bar on amazon up here and search for to search for something to find your product how's a customer going to search um, use keywords to search to find your product they don't know that they're using keywords but they're using phrases or they're using the word t-shirt at the end of um two long tail two keywords together or just a phrase and they're trying to find a t-shirt or a pullover or a hoodie you know what i mean or a zip up hoodie whatever it is and i think that's very very important that you understand that because if you give the customer what they want that's how you make sales and that's important and it sounds easy but it goes hand in hand you know obviously the keywords then the design and that's one one thing that i've done over the years that has been very very successful with and implementing that with everything that i do and if it makes sense like just understand the basics and then just keep doing the basics over and over and over and then next thing you know it one cell turns into two cells two cells turns into four cells five cells turns into ten cells and just a rinse and repeat process it's not too hard. You just got to put a system in place for yourself. So come over here to the search bar. As I come over here and click on the search bar, if you look, you're going to see, obviously I was doing this like, you know, as I do research videos for you guys, you're going to see that there's, there's just different things that I'm searching to the search bar. But for example, look at like Santa hat, like that's a big one, maybe like a Santa hat shirt, right? So keep that in mind, a white elephant gifts for adults. Uh, stocking stuffers for adults, men, gifts for dads. These are all keywords. And long tail keywords, if you're unaware of what that is, this is big right here. So I'm looking at this already. Like Hanukkah candles. So long tail keywords is like two or more keywords. So Hanukkah candles, that's a long tail keyword. Santa hat, that's a long tail keyword. White elephant gifts, that's a long tail keyword. Now I'm just looking at this and kind of just seeing what I'm, what I'm, what type of ideas I can come up with. I'm looking at Hanukkah right off the back. So if I come over here into the search bar and we're gonna go ahead and type in, I just clicked the search bar too and this all popped up. If I come over here to the search bar and type in Hanukkah, you're gonna see that it's starting to auto populate. Now, if I type in the word all the way, but or deleting the letter, if I'm going back like that, right, you're gonna see that it starts to populate and show different you know ideas wrapping paper decorations gifts you know what i mean so decor candles look at hanukkah decorations for home see that's like this is like a long tail keyword this is a long 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 tail keyword like anything that's very passionate like that most likely there's going to be a demand for that so if we type in let's say shirt we type in shirt or your you can even just type in t-shirt right you're going to see that there's different ideas here. Girls, men, women, toddlers, kids, adults, plus size family. And now this right here, this we can go on and on and on and on and on about this right here. But for example, I'm just going to go ahead and just type in Hanukkah shirt and then I'm put women. Now this is like the broad phrase, right? This is very big. There's probably a lot of competition as a result of 6,000 here. Now, my thing is now we're looking at this is going to tell you a story. This is going to give you some good information here. And you're going to leverage the search bar here. To, it's going to be your best friend. We're going to leverage that. Probably just open up another tab. And as I open up another tab, I'm just going to come down here. And I want to see what's going on. Like what's, what's, what has BSRs? What's making sales? What's, what's, where's the data? Where, like, what are people buying right now? And the first thing that I'm seeing is the gnomes, Hanukkah gnomes. I didn't even think about that unless I started doing research. And I think this would be a good idea. So the mom gnome, you're going to see what they're doing here. The dad gnome, right? And you, and you kind of just get an idea of what's going on. I, I, and I like this one. We may go into the search bar and just type in Hanukkah gnomes, right? Now there's a lot, you know, there's different ideas. And if you know this niche, if you celebrate this niche right here, you probably know that there's a few different ideas out there 
that you can probably create just based off of, you know, looking at certain sayings on the t-shirt itself, happy Hanukkah. And if you know that there's a new saying that it's being a new saying in the niche or anything like that, by you know, say if there's like a new social media trend going on right now, you can leverage that into this and create a new t-shirt design. So just be by paying attention to what's going on in the world, there's obviously an opportunity for you to create a new t-shirt design. I always say like when I see something funny, there's like, that's a t-shirt design. It's a t-shirt design. Whole life is a t-shirt design. <laughs> it's everything's, you know, everything's funny. I'm like all about having fun. But at the same time, I just want to, like, I want to understand cool that's a cool t-shirt design i can create that and i've obviously i personally have created t-shirt designs that are just one-offs right and like a saying and then obviously all of a sudden the trend just disappears but if we go down we keep on going down we got a 16k bsr now this validates these bsrs validate how much like sales velocities that are going on right now because we went down just like what one row we're down one row and this is the overall pick 16k bsr 106 100 kbsr so there's obviously a demand inside of this niche we keep on going down we're already on the the third row there's still a demand look at this 78 kbsr and 28 kbsr and you're probably getting some ideas because there's some stuff some certain elements in this niche that you could probably recreate and create something that's pretty cool but for this example look at sloth i like how they mix the sloth right there but for example that's based off of what we saw we saw the gnomes let's come up here to the the new tab that we opened up and we're going to just come over here i'm gonna grab hanukkah i'm gonna type in gnome and i'm looking at these keywords to see if there's anything that's populating that has like a saying or anything like that so hanukkah gnomes shirt so as we type that in now we're seeing like we're looking at the sayings in here so happy hanukkah happy hanukkah gnome so like if we come over here the sassy gnome happy hanukkah this right here go back up so let's so for example we can open up another tab again and then we're just what we're going to do is just type in happy hanukkah and then like the gnome this is up there it's popping up so you can see how it's populating you see how we're kind of just i went from one first tab second tab or first window second window third window and just breaking it all down by each one and what I mean by that is kind of just getting ideas and just coming down and just trying to dig in a little bit more and just get more passionate, find a longer tail keyword and just work my way down into these sub niches in the side of Amazon and see like, where's the, you know, where's the low competition at? Because look at, you can see that we're getting lower 6,000 results, right? 5,000 results. Now we're going down to 2,000 results. So you see that what I'm talking about right there. You, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of just going down, going down, 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 down. Now this same concept and this same idea can work for any single niche that you're in. Now, if there's more demand, obviously there's more competition and there's more sales. So do not be scared because there's a lot of competition in the niche. You need to figure out how you're going to narrow this down for you to make sales, to actually wiggle your way into this high competition niche. And that's what I'm doing right here. So hanging with my gnomes, my, oh, hanging with my gnomies, happy, Han happy Hanukkah gnome, right? We're looking at that too. And there may be a, a ton of competition here. And look at, look at this one. Happy Christmas. <laughs> I think that's what it says. I'm not sure what that says, but this right here may be a new idea. Just this right here. Let me open up a new tab. We're opening up tabs over here, huh? Just tabs after tabs after tab. And this also too, it depends on what type of product you're going to be designing for because you can, there's a scene right there. If I, if I go back right there, if I look at this right here, you're going to see that I think pillow popped up, right? It did pop up. I seen it's not there no more sweater. You know what I mean? So there's different ideas inside of here. There's different niche ideas inside of here. Now, 6,000 results. Interesting. I think that they might've thrown that off right there because they're seeing that we're doing some research and the algorithm is trying to throw some new stuff at us, I believe. So let's, you know, let's narrow this down a little bit more because you're seeing that there is dinosaurs being used, but let's say though there's cat, dog. Let's see, use happy Hanukkah. Let's say like dog throwing a keyword in there. No, it's just giving us, oh, interesting though, because we've seen that the cat worked, right? Let's come back up here cat you're seeing that the cat work most likely the dog would work too so i'm gonna keep in mind as we're coming in here that's a new idea but because i'm the only reason i looked at that is because the first thing i seen was 264 bsr but i'm looking at you know the obviously the, this this is a cool this is a really cool design happy hanukkah cat me meowy christmas right there's a lot going on right here so but the concept and the idea is there right we're kind of just we're going off a bit from what we're looking at but let me see what we can find here because chris Mucka, happy chris Mucka, that's what we're happy chris merry christmas let's go back we're kind of going into a different rabbit hole right let's say let's type in merry 
Christmas. Now, now look, here we go. Here we go. Now we're getting some longer, longer. So Merry, Happy, Christmaka. So let's just type that in. There we go. Now we, here we go. So you see what I did right there? Just, and that's what it is too. It's like, you're going down this rabbit hole. You're trying messing with the keywords. You're going from here to here to here. And then as you're doing that, you're like trying to find, you're narrowing it, narrowing it down to where, what can I do inside this niche? Can I create something that's really cool that people like? And we narrowed it all the way down to 140, 140 results. Merry, Merry, Happy, Christmaka. So people are searching for that. If we looked at that, people are actually searching for that. Now, that's not saying that they want this phrase. You can see it's populating here. It's not that it's not the phrase that they want on the shirt because it doesn't make sense. Does it make sense to put this happy Christmaka or does it make sense to put Merry Christmaka? And I see it. If we look at the BSRs, we can see that it's working both ways. So there's they can you can, it can work either way. Now, can you put Merry Happy Christmaka? I, I I think you could do it, all right? I, I, I think it might work. It's all a test at the end of the day. But as we come down, Merry Christmas. You, I want you to pay attention to this. Like, if there is a niche, so they're using gnomes, they're using the uh, Santa right in the T-Rex, they're using the Christmas tree and the candles. You can see that they do like a half and half, which is pretty cool in this one too as well. And the idea here, right? And I think you can even do like a gnome Christmas tree and the candles together. And I think that would be a really good idea. And as we come down, we're kind of, right here, this is a nice 132K, 132K BSR. There's obviously a demand here. So, but do you see how I did right there? And, and it, that's literally what we're doing. You're leveraging the BSR, coming in here to try to find results, coming up with a good inspiration and like seeing what you can do to wiggle your way into these ni this niche with a lot of demand right now. And this works for any holiday that, you know, you can do this with any single holiday that you're doing. But the main goal is to leverage the search bar to find those long tail keywords that have a very little results. You are looking for the very little results and uh, wiggle your way into there and create a cool design that people want. And then you get that, you know, the organic traffic going, you make your first sale, then you start ranking for other keywords. All right, now the tool that we're gonna use to help us find uh, keyword ideas, which is really cool, I think, when it comes to using tools, the tool that we're using is Merchant Farmer, but when it comes to using tools, if you, you want to start investing into tools because it's going to make things so much easier for your business and it's going to get all that clutter out of the way. This is really cool because let me show you what I'm going to use. So in Merchant Farmer too, there's a lot of, you know, tutorials and stuff like that that can help you with learning like different concepts with Merch, with Merch by Amazon or Amazon Merch on Demand, whatever you want to call it. I was here since it was called Merch by Amazon and then they switched up the name. Now what we're going to do is come over here to Keyword Research. And then we're going to come over here to a keyword finder. There's keyword cloud, trending phrases in each hunter. We're going to use this. Now, what we're going to do is just type in the keyword that we're, we've been using. So Hanukkah. And then you can hit search. When we hit, let me pop up and open up another. No, we're good. We'll just keep this one open. But what I typed in was just Hanukkah, the very general phrase. And this is something that you want to pay attention to. So there's a lot of different ideas here. But first things first is like, he shows you total results here. It gives total result, results, but it's doing more than that. So there's keyword and phrase. There's Amazon search volume. There's Google search volume. There's the CPC and then there's competition. And there here's some other actions over here on this side. And one thing that I love to look at is the different keyword ideas that are populating inside of this niche. So for example, dog Hanukkah. So there's obviously people searching for dog Hanukkah, Jewish Hanukkah, candles Hanukkah, and funny Hanukkah. We're, we're going down. We're just seeing like, what, what, what can we do? Look at Hanukkah sweaters. And you literally can just go down this whole rabbit hole and see like if there's any phrases or anything that you can put on a t-shirt, Hanukkah sweatshirt, Hanukkah paper, pajamas, llama Hanukkah. See, now we're going into like sub niches. So Hanukkah cow. Like that right there. See, these are all different niche ideas that can be done in Hanukkah Christmas, right? There's some good stuff inside here that we're finding. I didn't even think about that. And then you can leverage any of this stuff and just, you know, you can you can do a, a search over here. If you hit this right here, it'll populate a new window. And then I can hit search. We'll hit that search. But Hanukkah donuts. Look at, see, like stuff like this. These are different ideas that can possibly, you probably never even thought about. And then going into that niche and start doing more and more and more research right uh let's go down and see what else we can find hanukkah dog sweater da, 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 da. and then there's there's a few different pages too by the way we're, there's three different pages populating over here but let's just type in happy hanukkah right 
and just kind of just go down the rabbit hole like how we're doing the Amazon search bar you can do the same exact thing over here and just come up with different ideas and see what we can find happy Hanukkah stickers so like different products so obviously that's not a, it's not a, obviously a product yet on Amazon merch obviously on Redbubble that's is the actual product but people are searching for happy Hanukkah stickers so that may be a good idea to create designs for you know stickers happy Hanukkah shirt right you see that you know the, the competition shows you the competition right there but one thing I was looking at is look at this happy Hanukkah and Merry Christmas which we kind of found already right by coming over here and just doing that search into the search bar right so it's just basically Christmas and Hanukkah mixed together into a niche now you have a whole different niche right let's say let's let's grab this keyword phase and see if it populates over here let me tab let me search that it's actually it's actually populating now you're seeing just for that that actual that phrase itself this is a high competition now if we come down look at happy Christmaka shirt all right there's a there's some there's some low competition here Merry Merry everything and happy always. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, sweatshirt. And there's different, just different ideas. There's a ton of stuff that can be done inside here. Um, but like this right here, happy Christmaka shirt. I think this is actually a good idea. And just by leveraging that and just looking at different phrases and typing it into the keyword finder inside of Merch Informer, this right here is populating different ideas, different design ideas. And you can see how powerful this. And then you can just go, you know, if you want to do a search, take that search and and go over onto Amazon and, and just kind of just validate it. You can definitely do that too, just kind of leveraging both platforms. But over here, we'll just go ahead and do a product search for that too as well. Now we're just, we're diving in deeper and we're finding just different stuff. Let me search that again. I'm not sure why I didn't populate that. Maybe because it's, there we go. We're finding different stuff and just trying to find, you know, finding finding that demand in the niche, but obviously look, looking for low competition. So Hanukkah Cal, like I would never even thought about this. I would never even thought about a, a niche like this, but it shows you the competition score A plus. So this would be a good niche to dive into. And I'm not sure how much demand this has, but we're looking at the first one. It seems like the first result, right? Hanukkah Cal, right? And you're gonna see how they're using that in the, the very beginning of the title. If you click on it, it's gonna bring you over to amazon.com and then you can kind of just look at it in more detail to see you know what it, what, it, what it's doing how it looks when was it uploaded stuff like that you can see it was uploaded last year but it has a 3 million bsr at the moment right huh it may not be um, something that we're we're looking for so but let's say oh look at like see, look at we found it we found a trending niche yeah, we know that there's a demand. Look at this: 39 kbsr, 60 kbsr, 127 kbsr. Like there's, a, but me when I'm looking at this, I know that this is trending right at the moment. And we did, we did that by just doing the research in this video and just diving in and just kind of just breaking down everything. And at that point, it's just a rinse and repeat process. And you go all the way down, and we're at the middle of the page, or not even at the middle of the page, but we're there's a, there's obviously it's, and this is the thing. Like there's, you're gonna see there's competition here. But we see it starts to disappear. The this, the phrase starts to disappear. But there's a there's a lot of demand for this. There's a ton of demand for this. But your goal is to create something. If you can create something inside of this niche that's trending right now, that's different from the rest of the competition. And even if you have a niche like you mixing the cow and the trending idea right now, people love cows and people are obviously loving this phrase. I'm pretty sure there's someone in here that is a passionate, maybe a farmer or you know has a dairy farm or something like that and you mix those two phrases together and then boom you enter the niche and you have a top selling design in that niche for this type for this type of for this design right so see how i broke that down did all that and the next thing i want to check is obviously i want to show you how to check for trademarks so we're going to do that in this check for trademarks and then actually how to create the design if you want to even go that far so let's check for trademarks all right, I'm gonna show you two different ways to check for trademarks. So what we're gonna use is a Merch Informer, Merchant, so Merch by Amazon trademark protection. It's a Chrome extension. So I'll put that link down below in the description. Everything that I'm sharing with you guys right here is gonna be down below in the description. So make sure you guys check out all that information down there. But we're on the listing on, uh, so we're on a, a t-shirt listing on it amazon.com and what it does it pops up in these little these four tabs up here one is obviously for the tops t-shirts stuff like that t-shirts right here this is what i usually use for the t-shirts right here to double check to make sure there's nothing in the listing and this is uh, pop sockets tote bags and pillows so this is a whole different conversation you can go on and on but this is going to help you understand if a certain phrase is trademarked so for example let's say like happy chrismaka so hit that boom now you're gonna see some of these reds. Um, if you click on it, it's gonna show show you some stuff right here. Uh, but looking at most of this stuff right here, it when it comes to like a general word like happy or sleep or anything that's in general, like most likely it's it's it, the general word that's in the dictionary. Um, it's 
it's very hard to trademark those. But you, they are they're obviously doing it, but you're going to see the, the different types, like the text. Like, I don't know what the heck is going on. They shouldn't be able to do that. But for the most part, when it comes to anything that's a general word, you should be able to upload the design. Now, if it was like this right there, the Happy Christmas was trademark. And if you went into dived into it a little bit more, you're going to see that it's not trademark. So we're in the clear for this example, for this design. Now, what I did is come over here into actual the Merch Informer and I clicked on alerts. Now, what we're going to do, you're going to see that I did some stuff right here before. Now let's add in some of the stuff that we are doing. So like, let's like grab some of these, these phrases, right? Let's say like this one. Uh, so we'll go down here and then we type in like say happy Hanukkah and we're just separating them by the space. You're seeing how I'm doing it you're, you're right here. It'll, it'll tell you the information right here, but you see Merchant Farmer will check trademarks against 025 clothing, 009 pop sockets. And these are the classification codes, by the way, too, if you're unaware of what that is. And so tell me how many I have left entries automatically check once a day and it's just giving you all that information. But let's say this, this, these three, these three long tail keywords, I say, I want to make a design for happy Christmas and I want to double check for trademarks before I even create the design, which you should do. So once you do the research, you have to do trademark checks at the same time, it goes hand in hand. That way you don't create the design and then you try to upload it and you get a rejection on any of these platforms or you get in trouble because it's a trademark. Now hit save. All right, now we're gonna hit right here, check for trademarks. And as we hit check for trademarks, you're gonna see that we are, obviously our three phrases are added. Let me go ahead and I left the Disney one in there so you can see that you see it has an X right there. That means it's a no go. Let me, now as I refresh it, you see the check for trademarks and these words, phrases are safe. So just to give you an idea, now think about it. Like if you wanna re-research 10, 20, 30, 40 different designs, you can come in here, add them in here, save, and then check for trademarks and it will do it for you. And then I'll tell you if it's for you to create that design or not. Now, and I say we're, we're happy and we want to create the happy Christmaka design. So we're going to come over here and copy that one. And then inside of Merch Informer, they have a Merch Informer studio that can help you create a design. All right. So I'm inside of the Merch Informer studio. And what we're going to do is create the project name. I'm going to go ahead and just... All right. So the project name, first design name, happy Christmas, and then first design type, you know, you can obviously you can do custom and then you have, you know, the t-shirt uh, standard size for Amazon merch. You have the Amazon, the pullover hoodie, pop socket, iPhone, Samsung phone cases, Amazon tote bags and throw pillows. So we'll just do the t-shirt hit create project. Now it's going to bring up this blank canvas. I'll do a quick overview of everything and just give you the idea and how you can use this. Right. And it's a very, very powerful tool that you can use because it's like basically merchant formers is all in one. So if I come over here, my, on my account, my top selling design, my top selling shirt is a black t-shirt. So if I want to change the color to a black t-shirt or black background, I can do that by just by hitting that. And obviously if you can see, there was a few different other colors that you can change it to. There's, you can even just mess with the, the color palette here if you want to mess with anything there. But for this example, I'll just go ahead and put it at black. There's white background, Amazon. And then you have Amazon is going to show you the standard t-shirts the premium, the V-necks, tank tops. And there's obviously you can down, design for all these different colors, which is really cool. I think that's pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and hit the black right there. Now it's you know, the transparent too. Or just go back to black. Let's go back to black. Up. Now with everything inside of here, there's a ton that can be done inside of here. Uh, you have, you can draw, you can mess with certain shapes and elements with inside of here. So you can see right there. And then you have the text. You can add a, you know, you can look at the, add the heading. We can change the color of the text too as well. This, there's a ton that can be done here. So let's say, for example, this is just an example, just to give you an idea how to, you would actually use this. You can see how I sized, upscaled it, sized it up. One thing, you know, right now it's really popular too, is you can, with any illustrations or any anything like that, I'm gonna show you that inside of here, but Dolly 3 is a very, very popular when it comes to creating any type of illustrations or graphics. So keep that in mind. If you're leveraging that right now, because that's trending, leveraging that in this, that can be very, very powerful because you can obviously come over here, you can upload your own images. Let me show you an example. I'm just showing you a quick example of how you can, you know, upload an image and, and bring it over here if you wanted to. So you can do that too as well, which is cool. There's, like I said, there's a ton that can be done right there. And then you can actually come into uh, Merchant Former Graphics, right? Um, a Unsplashed Merchant Former Graphics. And let's say like we want to add a, let's say, you can see Christmas and you can see there's different elements inside of here if I wanted to add that into here. And so 
I went and added a Christmas tree in here. You can see how I'm editing and downscaling it or upsizing it. And you, I can mess with a lot with inside of here. And then there's just, just a, there's a lot of graphics that you can personally use with inside of, of this actual Merchant Former graphics. Look at just, just a ton of them. So November 2023, you can see like all the, the new graphics that were added over here. And, and there's a lot. You click on it, look at any of these you can possibly use for a t-shirt design pretty cool some pretty cool ones um so there's that too as well and then um and then you can you can obviously turn any of these into like different patterns if you wanted to do that uh, but no i don't want to do that so go back right to where it was so you can do any of that too as well which is really cool you can mask you can distress effects so different distress effects in here right all right so there's a ton that can be done back here so just come back here messing with this there's there's uh, yeah you can mess with a lot back here so let's say you're with this image and you know you obviously want to you want to take it over to you can see the drawing on there or <laughs> else messing with the drawing so you could draw on there but let's say you're with this image and you want to just download the current design and if you downloaded the current design we, we already created the file right we went through the whole processes already so it's done let me grab that image i'm over here into amazon merch on demand and just upload it so you get the idea right you can see boom it's right there i took you through the whole process of doing the research checking for trademarks and then obviously uh, creating the design and that obviously just an example of the design so do not make fun of me <laughs> i personally wouldn't put that up on amazon myself but that's just an example and if you want more niche ideas as far as leveraging ai to help you come up with different ideas watch this video right here and all i ask is give this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions feel free to comment down below Thank you very much.